Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. Today we're going to continue the series on plug and chug and today's episode is using the plug and chug method when you have to find the solution. So if you're on the task test and you see the word solution and you're given an equation and it's multiple choice, plug and chug is your friend. Now, my problem states the solution. So I see the word solution. So I'm like, okay, solution, maybe I can use plug and chug. And it says of the equation. So I have an equation. 5 minus 2x equals negative 4x minus 7 is. And I'm given four choices. So it's a multiple choice question. I'm going to use plug and chug to get my answer. So remember, we start off by writing our equation. Wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it by the number 1 because my first answer is, okay, maybe x is 1. So wherever I see x, I replace it by 1. So I plug in 1 everywhere I see x. I'm now going to chug using order of operations. I have subtraction and multiplication. So multiplication is first. And then I just have a subtraction, which would give me three. I'm going to move to the right hand side. Negative four times one is negative four. And I'm going to subtract seven. From here, I can tell that it will not equals to three because negative four minus seven will give me a negative answer, not a positive. And if I did the math, negative four take away seven is actually negative 11. So my answer is not one. Okay, I'm going to move on to number two. So I'm gonna write my equation again, five minus two x equals negative four x minus seven. Wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it with the number 2. So this is 5 minus 2 times 2 equals negative 4 times 2 take away 7. This gives me 5 minus 4, which is 1. Okay, let's take a look at the right-hand side. Now negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 take away 7. And from here, I know it's not going to be equals because as in the previous one, this will give me a negative answer, not a positive. And then if I did the mathematics, it's going to give me negative 15. So my answer is not two. Okay, let's try three. We're hoping that our answer is negative two. So I'm going to write my equation, 5 minus 2x equals negative 4x minus 7. So I have 5 minus 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4 times negative 2, take away 7. Let's chug away with order of operations. This will be 5, take away 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Remember when you have neighboring negatives, they come together and form a positive. Five plus four is nine. So I'm hoping that over here on my right hand side, I can get nine. Negative four times negative two is a positive eight, but I'm subtracting seven. And from here, I know that will never give me nine. Eight minus seven is one. Nine is not equivalent to one. So my answer is not three. Therefore, by default, my answer is negative 6. If you're on the task test and you're using plug and chug and your answer is not 1, 2, or 3, by default it is 4, bubble 4 on your Scantron and move on with your life. Now, I'm going to prove that it is 4, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to write my equation again and I'm going to plug in the negative six to prove that negative six is the answer. So wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it with negative six. I'm going to chug away using order of operations. 
So this will be 5 take away 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. The two neighboring negatives come together and form a positive. And if I add 5 plus 12, I get 17. Let's move to the right-hand side. Negative 4 times negative 6 is a positive 24. And I'm going to subtract 7 from that, and that gives me 17. So the left equals the right, therefore negative 6 is your answer choice. So if you ever see the word solution and you're given an equation and it's multiple choice, please utilize plug and chug so you can get your answer fast and dirty. Let's take a look at another problem. So notice in this example, it says the solution. Again, if you see the word solution and you're given an equation, right here it says equation, and we know it's an equation because of the equal sign and it's multiple choice, you can use plug and chug. So I'm going to write my equation, which is x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals to 0. So for this one, I'm going to use the calculator. Sometimes when you have to do a lot of calculations like this one, you may find this question on the calculator section of the task test. Now in your answer choices, notice there are in curly brackets and you have two values. I have negative six comma two. Your answer is either negative six or two, okay? It is both of them. So we need to plug in both numbers. So let's try plugging in negative six and see if we will get zero. So negative six, I'm going to square, minus four times negative six, take away 12, and I'm hope that will give me zero. So to save time, I'm going to use the calculator. So let's put this into the calculator so I have the negative six, and I'm going to square that. And then I'm going to subtract four, which is going to multiply the negative six, and then I'm going to subtract 12. Remember, enter your, enter into your calculator as you wrote your substitution. When I hit enter, I get 48. It did not equal zero. Now, because I did not get zero for negative six, I'm not going to waste my time and plugging two. If it didn't work for the first choice, that is not your answer. Let's move on to two. I'm gonna try negative four. So negative four all squared minus four times negative four take away 12 and I'm hoping, will I get zero? So again, open parentheses, I'm gonna input negative four, I'm gonna square all of that, I'm gonna subtract four, which I'm gonna multiply by four, negative four exactly, so let's go back. So parentheses, negative four, close the parentheses, and then I'm gonna subtract 12. I hit enter, and I get a value of 20. So it does not equals. So it didn't work for the negative four. I'm not even gonna bother entering the three. Remember, it must work for both numbers. Okay, let's try negative two. Negative two all squared minus four times negative two I want to subtract 12, and I'm hoping that gives me zero. Okay, we're going to get our calculator again. I want to clear this. Okay, start with our parentheses, and we enter negative 2. We're going to square everything. We're going to subtract 4, which is going to multiply negative 2. And then I'm going to subtract 12. And I'm going to hit enter. Wow, we got zero. So it does work for a negative two. We did get our zero. So to make sure that our answer is truly number three, we're going to plug in six. So we're going to do six squared minus four times six minus 12 equals to zero. We're going to get our calculator again. Okay, let's open the parentheses and input six. We need to square it, subtract, 
4, which is going to multiply our 6. And then we're going to subtract 12. And we hit enter. There you go. We got 0. So it did work for negative 2 and positive 6. So our answer is number 3. This problem was a little bit different than the first example, but I wanted to show you that when you find a problem or you're on the test and you see a problem and it said, and you see the keyword solution and it's an equation and it's multiple choice, you can utilize plug and chug. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck in your task examination.